everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vought RV. Hey, look what I got behind me, another 2022 unit. This is a J-Flight 28BH, 28 bunkhouse. This guy's a little over 7,000 pounds and 33 feet long. You might be misled thinking it's 28 feet long. If you look at all the models on Jayco and truthfully all the manufacturers, you can add a few to that model number to figure out how long it really is. So this is a 28BHS. It's actually right at 33 feet long. Now you notice it's an aluminum exterior. Uh, this can come in either aluminum or fiberglass. Obviously we're aluminum and a lot of people ask me what's better. One's not really better, fiberglass or aluminum. They both have their redeeming qualities. Aluminum like this is a lightweight, soft metal. Each one of these pieces locks together and can be replaced easily. So if you do have damage, it's a pretty simple fix. If you damage fiberglass, it's a more expensive fix. Generally speaking, aluminum is less expensive to buy, build, replace, and repair. Fiberglass over here costs a little bit more. So they both have their redeeming qualities. They're both similar R value. They both have the same qualities in terms of, of uh, protecting you from the elements. This is a little bit less expensive to get into. So not to get sidetracked, we'll get on with our walk around. We've got a little pass through storage that goes all the way to the other side. Nice clean storage that Jayco's famous for. So real usable storage. Now that we're in the J flight line, notice we have power stabilizing jacks. You don't have to manually crank them down or get your cordless drill. It's all electric powered right here. It makes dropping the stabilizing jacks super easy. Now up here we have two 30 pound propane bottles. So we have increased propane capacity over the smaller SLX line have electric tongue jack, makes hooking and unhooking super easy. Right behind the propane is our battery tray. We have one battery back here. There's room to put two if you want to upgrade to two batteries. There's plenty of room to do that. Now, I like the diamond plating that's on here. Jayco's putting this on all these J-Flight units. This is the area that's gonna get beat up with stones and, and, and so on. This protects it. This takes a lot more of a beating than this portion up here. So I like that Jayco is doing that. I also don't talk about the framework enough on a Jayco. I've just gone through the master's training from Jayco and there's some important things that are worth pointing out when you're shopping. Jayco builds all of their frames custom to the house that sits on top of it, not the other way around. <clears throat> Most manufacturers terminate this A-frame right here. With Jayco, it continues all the way through. It's welded there, it's welded down along the channel on this side. It's three points. If you, if you paid attention and didn't sleep through geometry, you know triangles are a lot stronger. So this continues on and there's a lot of outriggers, many more outriggers on a Jayco than other manufacturers. In general, Jayco's weigh a little more and cost a little more, but they're a lot more stout. I like that. Every frame is built for the house that sits on it instead of buying stock frames Say Jayco wants to build a 33 foot trailer. They don't just go out and buy a frame that's 33 feet long. They build the frame specifically for this unit. I like that. Opposite side of our pass through storage right here. Again, nice and clean. Coming around to this side will be our utility hookup area. We've got our shower, outdoor shower, hot and cold. We have the tank flush valve up here. It's a great feature that we're seeing on RVs here in recent years. So once you pull your valves for your holding tank, hook up a hose up here and let it run. It's got a spray port in there that really does a nice job of keeping your black tank clean. Your main water connection, city water connection right here. And then of course your uh, holding tank outlet right here with your pull valves handy to do that, got gray and black. Your cable TV and satellite connection right here. So once you hook up to your cable and satellite, and a lot of RV parks and resorts have cable uh, hookups, now you'll have cable all through the inside of the coach. Full-size spare tire with a cover on every Jayco. On this particular unit, we have access to the direct spark ignition water heater in the back. Just open up like so. This is off so I know we're safe for winter time. It's been winterized. 
It's a six gallon quick recovery direct spark ignition water heater. Ladder to get up on the top if you need to get up there, uh, give the roof a bath, do some maintenance things. I like to go up and give my coach a bath at least a couple times a year, treat the roof. Now this has the Diflex Dicor Generation 3 roofing material. That's significant because this carries a 20 year warranty. Double the warranty, it's more impervious to pokes and scratches and tears than the previous generation. So if you combine that with Jayco's already stout warranty of the two plus three, two years covering all the components, three years structural, 20 year roof warranty, and then finally the Goodyear tires, every Jayco comes with a uh, set of Goodyear tires, they have a six year prorated warranty. Add all those up and it's a great warranty. Love that. You got your um, electric stabilizing jack switch right here on the back too, real handy. Now we have a little outdoor kitchen on this unit. Have a drink refrigerator, utensil drawer, a sink in here. So handy right here on campsite under the awning. So we have an 18 foot awning with an LED light strip right under here. It's that awning comes out, we're all covered under here. And plenty of room for important things, you know, like beer and wine, things like that, right? Nice little drink refrigerator. Now, uh, well, we'll finish the outside tour before we go in. Potable water fill right here, so if you're gonna go off in the wild blue yonder with no water hookups, you'll wanna fill it, your fresh water tank here. I suggest not traveling with more than a few gallons of water because water's heavy, right? So if you're gonna go off grid, fill it up here, otherwise only keep a few gallons on board at a time. We have electrical hookups, so if you can, uh, you can have your, your hot plate out here, coffee maker, blender, whatever. And then if you do have cable or you have a satellite dish and you plugged it in on the other side, now we have cable on this side too, right on the patio side. You'll see these uh, in a lot of J Jayco products called a J-Port. Flip this up and it looks like a little hitch receiver. That's a platform to receive a griddle that'll fit right here. And handy right below is the quick connect for your propane right under your patio area. So let's go inside and have a look. We have our nice Moride step above steps. These are just fantastic because they're solid. They bear all the weight. It's a wider entry, so it makes ent entering and exiting the coach super easy. These stow inside for travel just like this, and it's got a little catch, and that's the way it travels. When you get to where you're going, just release it, drop it down. Each one of these legs is easily adjustable. All you do is push in here and adjust them. So if you're on uneven ground, always make sure you have a good connection. So notice this side needs to come down a little more. I'm releasing it underneath, just like that. So if you have an early riser in the family, that's me, and you're sneaking out in the morning to go get coffee or whatever, notice you're not transferring motion to the rest of the trailer. Even with the stabilizer jacks down, you'll transfer a little bit of motion with the fold out steel steps like are up, up there. And you may say, well, why are those up there? Because when the slide comes in on this model, you lose access to the bedroom. There's two reasons why you'll have two doors on a trailer. Either when the slide comes in, you lose access to part of the coach, and that second door will give you that access, or in some cases, there's a door that gives you access, direct access to the bathroom. Those are the two reasons you'll see that. I noticed I don't have these out all the way. Safety hazard. Now I do. So see, if this was the only step, I can transfer motion to the coach like this. This is our primary entrance. We have a firm contact point to the ground and you don't get that. Let's go inside and take a look on the inside. Okay, now we're on the inside of this 28 BHS. Again, we're in a bunkhouse model. Bunks right behind me. These are double bunks. That means each one of these has a 600 pound capacity. So we can sleep a ton of folks in here. Eight to 10, really. Two, four, six, eight. 
ten and the queen bed up front. One thing I love about this is this little cubby hole under here. So camping gear, I think I'm thinking the dog's gonna love to hang out under here. The kids, it's a great hiding place. But really, this hinges up. So check that out. We can put bicycles or taller items in there. This will stay up if we need it to. So we have a lot of utility space for storage if we need it. And then when you need it to become a bunk, just drop it down, drop this cushion down like that. It's a great idea. And on each of these bunks, we have both a light as well as a power supply for charging gadgets and so on. So if you have a family, you can't go wrong with a unit like this. You know, it's not huge, 33 feet long, not super heavy, so it's half ton towable. If you've got an F-150 or a 1500, chances are you can pull this. If in doubt, let us know. We'll look up your specific truck and make sure that you can safely tow the trailer that you're looking at. Neat little bathroom in here. Immediately you notice all this extra storage, so you can't have too much storage in here. So if we have a trailer like this, chances are we have kids or another couple or multiple people staying in here. So there's room for putting those toothbrushes and things like that. I'm six feet tall and I got plenty of leg room here. Storage underneath here with two different storage areas below the sink. And there's a medicine cabinet right up here with a couple shelves, so. Very handy. I like this too because this is a walk-in shower um, with a glass shower enclosure. Plenty of room here, so um, nice black. All of the appointments now in 2022 are black, sort of a matte black faucet, fixtures and everything. Very nice, and of course we have a skylight. I'm six feet tall. If I was uh, six six, I could still get in here and take a shower. It's nice and roomy. This is a porcelain foot flush commode. I get in trouble when I don't point that out sometimes. So folks, I'm pointing it out. This is a nice porcelain foot flush commode. Yes, check it out. We have everything you need to, to do what you need to do in this room. All right, moving right along. We have our thermostat on the wall here, pleated shades all the way around. One thing that I often think about, and a lot of folks don't think about enough, is the TV viewing angle. Right across from the TV is this comfortable sofa. So, how handy is that? 40 inch TV right across from the sofa. Now if you want to increase your, your sleeping capacity, all I have to do is pull these cushions off, lift up in the center, and pull this out, drop the legs, and now we can sleep a couple folks here if you like each other and if you don't maybe one person but that's a nice comfortable sleeping position pop it back up tuck this back it's just that easy velcro on the back of these makes that an easy transition now this is what Jayco calls charcoal it's a microfiber material that's proven to be very durable even if you have pets climbing up on here this microfiber charcoal decor um, is real nice speaking of decor this is modern farmhouse by far Jayco's most popular decor sort of a muted off-white you might say um, but this is very popular and notice we have a nice one-piece molded polycarbonate um, countertop here so this is impervious to moisture it looks like solid surface kind of looks like marble what's neat you can put an undermount sink in here so if you got food prep up here and you need to clean it up it's an undermount sink you have both a drying rack as well as a cutting board here I like that speaking of storage all this storage I'm thinking that's probably where the trash can goes it's important to think about where the trash can goes four drawers and these are full extension ball bearing drawer glides so lots of storage Jayco's famous for their cabinet building quality solid maple cabinets and then the styles are all pocket screwed glued together and then the whole assembly is screwed to the frame of the coach so this is a really stout cabinet assembly little three burner cooktop fold this back and it becomes your backsplash three burners this entire assembly lifts out for cleaning turn our fancy lights on 
and a modest sized oven big enough for pizzas and pot pies and what have you. Now, everything is labeled, all of your breakers for your 120 volt system, all of your fuses for your 12 volt system, all labeled on here. So if you're wondering why that certain outlet's not working or the lights aren't coming on, first place you're gonna come to to troubleshoot is right here. Nice little microwave up top and then we have a vented range hood that is vented to the outside and a light, just like home. Have a 10 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. Man, this is really nice. It's a lot deeper than a standard RV fridge, which runs on gas or electric. This runs off 12 volts all the time. You get the question all the time, well, I wanna go dry camping. I can't do it with a 12 volt fridge. Actually, you can. So this is gonna to continue to run from your battery power, even if you are not driving and even if you don't have hookups. This will run overnight, certainly, perhaps longer. When you're going down the road, you're sending a charge to those batteries. When you're plugged up at a campsite, you're charging those batteries. If you have solar, you're charging the batteries. And finally, if you have a generator, you're charging the batteries. But to my point is even if you have no hookups, this refrigerator will continue to run from your battery power even without hookups. And it's a, it's a compressor fridge, so it works uh, much like your refrigerator at home. Again, I, I mentioned the entertainment center earlier. Jayco's doing thoughtful things like making it easy to access connections under here. You have power, so if you want to put a DVD or another component, a gaming console in there. And then nice storage underneath the entire assembly. Got hanging clothes can hang in here and then shelves on this side. And then up top, we can pull the TV out and adjust the angle. So if you're sitting at the table and you wanna have a better TV viewing angle, uh, maybe you want a better angle from the bathroom there. <laughs> Probably not, but point being, and there actually is a little storage behind there. I'll let you get around me. So there's actually quite a bit of storage in there for, for items that you maybe don't need as often. There's a little magnet catch in the back here. So simply take this, push it in, and that's it, you're good for travel. This, when I first saw it, I thought was real tile backsplash. It really looks convincing, but it's not, it's smooth, but I was really impressed with how real that looks. If you combine that with this, and the nicely styled countertop. It's really got a contemporary feel to it. Stacy Stewart is the designer. A lot of people say, well, I wish these things were designed by women. Bingo, Jayco has a female designer and I think it shows really good taste. We have a nice skylight up here that's open. You can pull the shade like so if you wanna keep it a little cooler or block out the light. Open it up like so and it puts a lot of natural light in here. Now this unit we ordered with a second AC here in the bedroom. Generally speaking, here at Vaught RV, we option up our units more than most dealers. We order them the way we would wanna use them if we're out there using them. Um, been an RVer my whole life, so I'm glad to know that Vaught RV orders little things on these that make a big difference when you go out and use them. We're in Texas, it gets warm here, so having a second AC right here in the bedroom can really make a big difference. Nice, spacious, you have room on either side of the bed and storage under the bed. So you can see the area down there, which of course we're not gonna access from the bed, but that's the pass-through storage that we looked at from the outside. But you have this area right here, which is perfect for shoes. Kick your shoes under there at night. It's also perfect to put baskets and put, maybe it's a dirty clothes basket or linens or what have you, and it makes it easy to access. So I can access the bed from either side. We have shelves on this side. Uh, and then on the opposite side, you have room for hanging shirts and so on. And storage up on top all the way across here. And we can turn our lights on and off here. Now, if you want to take your TV from the bedroom out to the patio, you can do that. This is called a key block mount. This exact same mount is on the outside of this trailer. This is a universal uh, mounting bracket. So... 
TV that you provide, universal mounting bracket is a little release right here. Pop it in there. Right here's your coax and your power. So undo those connections and release it. Simply carry this out, pop it on this same bracket that's on the outside of the coach and hook it up. Now you have TV on the outside. I mentioned solar earlier. If you wanted to add solar, right here's where the charge controller would go. And that's something we can do for you. You can do it later, but right there is where you would access the wiring for the charge controller. Uh, upgrading solar constitutes solar panel or panels on the roof, a charge controller here. So we can upgrade your battery array, add a charge controller and solar panels to give you solar capability if that's something you want to do. Um, notice there's no carpet anywhere in here. It used to be that every slide out would have carpet in it because that was the easiest way for any manufacturer to cover the floor within the slide box. Jayco worked with Shaw Residential Flooring to come up with this material. And it's got this nice binding on here so that this whole slide travels over the top of this and they got rid of all the carpet. Nobody's lamenting the loss of the carpet because that's the area that gets dirty first. Um, and I like the color too. It's a forg very forgiving color for traipsing in and out of the campsite. So again, we're in the 28 BHS. We're in a J flight. Again, about 33 feet long, a little over 7,000 pounds. This sleeps a bunch of folks. And, and then with this slide right here, there's a lot of elbow room. So we can have mom and dad and four kids or maybe two couples in here and you're not on top of each other and you can really enjoy yourselves. Again, it's Mike coming to you from Vaud RV here at Fort Worth, Texas. If you're curious about this, give us a call. We'll get you hooked up with one of our sales guys. If you have questions about your truck and if you can tow this safely, that's something that we have to do per Aaron Vaught is look up your vehicle and make sure you can safely tow the trailer that we're going to hook up to you. Again, join us next time. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions or any suggestions on content you'd like to see, leave a comment below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again from Vaught RV.